Dear Mr. Acevedo, on a personal level, are you a risk taker? Well, I'm in the business of changing things uh, and changing things globally. If you want to change things, you have to take risks. There is no safe position, your cocoon that will allow you from there to do things. No, you have to take risks. Everybody has to take risks if we want to really make a change. And I think the world needs uh, that kind of uh, a bold attitude. You have to not fear the unknown. Uh, you have to go for the things that you believe in. And one of the things I believe in deeply is that the world needs more integration, we need more cooperation, we need more trust between peoples, we need more understanding and less intolerance. I think if we can do those things, we will be better off at the end of the day. And to do that, we have to take risks. What is your key message for the German industry? One in every three jobs in Germany depends on exports, depends on integration with the world. And at the same time, it is not clear to me that the German people understand that. They don't understand sometimes that their job depends on business with other people, with other countries, with other uh, be behind the border. Um, and I think that message has to be there. Uh, people have to understand that if we don't have any of this uh, integration of the trade, um, the prices on the shelves will be higher, their salaries will be lower, their jobs will be at risk. Um, and I would say that the German industry has been very supportive of the WTO, has been very supportive of the, uh, of the um, cooperation in the global economy. But I think they can still do even more in giving this message to their employees and to people who they have contact with. But I'm very thankful for their support. We see nowadays that protectionism is on the rise. How does the WTO react to that? Protectionism is always a very negative force because it introduces uh, obstacles to trade. Um, the world today is so integrated in terms of the production uh, chains that uh, two-thirds of the goods that are uh, traded in the world today um, were manufactured in at least two countries, two-thirds. So in these days, if you erect a barrier, uh, a protectionist barrier, it's like building a wall in the middle of the factory. So that means you have to go around the wall, you have to do things that you wouldn't otherwise do, uh, which will increase costs, which will be disruptive, and which will bring uh, the welfare of the citizen down uh, everywhere in the world. So protectionism doesn't matter how it's disguised, it doesn't matter the justification for protectionism, it will always lead to a situation where the citizen, the common citizen, loses purchasing power, his salary goes down and his job will be at risk.